This traffic stop in Charlotte County turned up something very interesting. Deputies pulled over this pickup truck just after midnight. It wasn't who they found inside that caught their attention. As NBC2's Gage Golding explains, it was what was inside. A faulty headlight. That's what tipped police to pull over a truck early this morning. A routine traffic stop turning into a major drug bust. The two men inside, they're now locked up here at the Charlotte County Jail. Police say they found prescription drugs smuggled from Mexico. Elbenzadol, an anti-worm medication. Methocarbamol, a muscle relaxer, and even Augmentin, an antibiotic. These are just some of the 27 different prescription drugs found in the back of this pickup truck. Deputies pulling over Esteban Garcia and Lorenzo Martinez just after midnight. The deputies trained eye spotting a box of tramadol, a known controlled substance. That's when the deputy knew this wasn't a routine stop. These are routinely dangerous because you never know what you're going to find. The long list of drugs all smuggled from Mexico goes on, but pharmacists tell me they aren't the big name often abused drugs like Oxycontin, Adderall, or Ambien. A lot of antibiotics, some anti-inflammatories, uh, muscle relaxers, uh, nothing that I would have seen would have carried a whole lot of like street value or abuse potential. Each pill, you know, may have a street value of $15 depending on the nature of the pill. These pills are actually what you'd get from your local pharmacy. The question though, are they real? It may be the right medicine, but not the right accurate dosing. It may not even be the right medicine in there. People saying they wouldn't dare try buying smuggled prescriptions. Not on your life. I don't know what's coming in from Mexico. No, I would prefer to buy them in the U.S. That's a smart idea. The FDA puts in a lot of effort and regulatory policies to make sure that what we get is safe. As for Garcia and Martinez, they are still locked up, facing 29 charges each. Their bond, that's set at $5,000 per charge. Lock them up. And lock them up with the drugs. Let them take them in jail. In Charlotte County, Gage Golding, NBC2.